We didn't see a fish here yesterday, but it had all the makings of a really great musky spot. It had rock, it had weed, it's got a little saddle area, an island complex on the back side of it, so it's got high hopes. A lot of real cheap, cheap talk. You don't, you don't have confidence in the spot, Jim? You don't like it? <laughs> no, it's musky fishing. You cast, and you cast, and then you cast, and you cast some more, and then all of a sudden they bite. But there is some logic to the madness. There's a little cloud cover building in a little bit better. Beautiful weeds up here. Puff daddies. Got him. Pike. Pike. Boy, I was gonna say, that's a good looking spot. Oh, it's a little musky. Yep. Cool. Oh, he came off. That was sweet though. Hey, I'll take yeah. that. Just bounce off a patch of weeds again. It's all about finding, finding weeds for us so far on this trip. It looked like just a dynamite spot. I was burning a big super boo over the top of that, a number 10 style blade in a really bright color. And we want baits that we can see really well in the water. That way the fish can see them well as well. You know, a lot of times when you're fishing dark water like we have here, water clarity may be two to uh, three feet. A lot of times vibration is more critical than anything at all. So they can actually feel, feel it realistically. The, you know, how far they can see away from them, I don't know. But in a lot of cases, you want to put a lot of vibration in the water so the fish can find it. Jim and I are focused on four primary presentations right now. It's the bucktail, spinnerbait, crankbait, and topwater. For bucktails, we've been throwing the double blades. They've got a lot of vibration. They also have a lot of lift. We're focused on shallow, weedy spots in a lot of situations, and the double tens or the double eights have a lot of lift to just ride right over the tops of those cabbage spots. And the second choice for those cabbage beds has been the spinnerbait. This is a great tool when you want to make contact with the cover or you want to just be sure that your bait is running free. Next, when we get on some of these rocky spots, we're fishing the jointed flat stick. This is a great bait in dirty water. You can hear how loud it is. The UV pattern has been a really good one for us in the past, but the idea with the crank is we're trying to pound rocks, make contact with the bottom, and do anything that'll trigger a fish. And then both over the rocks and the weeds, when you're fishing in the summer, one lure you can't ever rule out is top water. Sometimes it's the magical presentation fish just love. We haven't thrown it much yet today, but it's always something you've got to have tied up to one rod in the warm water period. That's what we've got on the deck today, a few variations of each, and so far it's paying off. <laughs>